Ladies and gentlemen, this Red Gaming Tentacom video, we have news of DirectX 11.2 new features, as well as something that will also be included on the Xbox One. Now, these DX 11.2 features will only be available on, as I said, either the Xbox One or Windows 8. So you will not be able to utilize this on Windows 7. I know I'm hearing a few of you boo and hiss. So what exactly is this new feature? Well, it is what is known as tiled resources. It's actually really cool um, technology. The key purpose behind this technology is simple. Normally, all data that is possible will be loaded on to the graphics card memory. Now, the problem with this is quite simple. Um, well, there's only a certain amount of memory in a graphics card. Generally speaking, it's between one and a half to maybe three gigs. And that's great and all, but now games are becoming increasingly complicated. And it's just not really possible to put, right now, say, eight gigs of RAM on a graphics card. Now, obviously, for something like the Xbox One, it has eight gigs of memory, period. But even so, that's still a hell of a lot of RAM, uh, memory. So what happens on the graphics card is, generally speaking, you'll have lower resolution textures. So basically, the closer you get up to a particular texture or object, you'll notice that the level of detail remains the same. But because now you're closer to it, you can start noticing it looks a bit blurred or a little bit ugly. Tiled resources reduces this problem. The purpose here is that it will basically look at what you're basically uh, focused on and then it will start swapping those textures for my more highly detailed ones. So in other words, it will simply load those textures in to the graphics card memory uh, as you become closer and closer to them, which is really, really cool. So the only problem, as I've said, is this will only be working on Windows 8 systems as well as next generation uh, Xbox One. Now, it is worth noting that this technique itself is not completely new. It is not completely shiny. There have been other um, various techniques, such as MIP mapping as well. But in this case, it's a lot more interesting because it's also on the Xbox One, which, of course, is going to be also using a lot of the same similarities um, in terms of feature set of the, X of the Windows 8.1 OS. Now, of course, the key thing here is developers themselves actually have to use this technology. That's really important. And so, of course, there's still the question of are they going to do that when Windows 7 is still prevalent on the most popular, um, well, most desktop OSs? Probably not. But certainly in the future, it's probably going to be a feature set that will be included in games. And it's pretty cool, to say the least. Because tiled resources, at least in theory, will be very smart and very intelligent based upon what you are looking at, it would be very interesting to see just what the differences are between, say, PCIe 2 and PCIe 3 performance. So in other words, let's say you have a PCIe 2 motherboard connected to, uh, say, a GTX 700 or 600 series. What happens if you enable tiled resources uh, in terms of uh, the memory bandwidth between them obviously is quite a large discrepancy between PCIe 2 and PCIe 3. Generally right now there's not that much of a drop in performance with the two cards but we'll see what happens when uh, we have tiled resources uh, added to the mix. Anyway I think that's just about it for this particular video. It's fairly short and sweet. There's not that much information on it right now apart from a few tiny titchy tech demos which are relatively impressive looking but they don't really show off that much it's clearly something that they are still working on anyway hopefully you've enjoyed the video i will see you soon take care and bye for now